Can the spirits take back their blessings, that the world that they have given us, that they have given you? Can your ancestors take back those blessings? Can your marine spirits take back those blessings? Can your deities take back their blessings? That is a question that came in and the answer is yes. You can lose everything along your journey. Welcome to I of Ancestors Kingdom. It's me, your queen, Nanaya Sankofa in your area. How are you doing, family? I hope all is well with you on your spiritual journey. I hope you are blessed. Welcome once again. So, uh, today I want to talk about a question that came in. Someone asking me if it is possible for someone to lose the blessings, the wealth that... Um, uh, we used to get from our deities, from our ancestors, uh, from our spirits, from the marine spirits, from the marine world. And the answer is yes, you can lose it. You know, you being a devotee, you being a child of the waters, you being a chosen one from your ancestors, from whatever. A lot of things have been provided for you so that you have things easier on your journey so that you don't go begging so that you don't go crying so that you don't go hungry you need to be an example for people who want to start their journey with the marine spirits or with their ancestors and it is your lifestyle that will pull them in or that will bring them or that will um open their eyes for them to understand that there is blessings in African spirituality, there is blessings to know who you are on your journey. So when you come to understand the importance of knowing who you are, you will understand your journey more better and things will become easy for you. That doesn't mean there are people too who come into spirituality just because of what they can gain. Not that the spirits are stupid. Your ancestors are stupid or the marine spirits are stupid or uh, the deities are stupid or whatever. They will just give you that chance. But when you don't keep to your part, let's say maybe you went uh, to the river to go and ask uh, uh, for a child or you went to the waters to go and ask uh, for wealth. Now you have the wealth. For you to keep to your promise that maybe you said that once in a year you'll be bringing a cork, a, a goat, or um, um, a bottle of, of, of schnapp, and you are, not, you are not doing it, you will lose everything. Everything will go back. Because you are not keeping to your word and you are disrespecting those spirits. So when you want to keep everything that you get from your goddess, or everything that you get from your ancestors, you need to play your part. Because they provide for you so that you will not be in need, so that you will keep to your promises, and so that you will not have that headache, oh, what will I eat? What am I going to wear? Where am I going to stay? How will I pay my bills? They provide all these things for us so that we can be at peace with them and continue as a chosen one to concentrate on our work that we came here to do. That's why I always say that when you are someone with a calling, when you know who you are and you are going through some situations, maybe you are suffering poverty, sickness and all that, then there is something wrong somewhere. Because all you need to do is to talk to your spirits. And they understand that you need good health. <coughs> sickness, sorry. Sickness is not your portion. You need to play your part. Let's say you are eating healthy. Um, you are doing everything that you have to do. You are taking very good care of yourself. But still, there is something wrong with you. When it's not physically, then it is spiritual. Then the physical, they will give you the, the uh, uh, they will tell you or they will show you. Like sometimes when I have problems and problems, they will show me that take this herb, drink this herb and I'll be okay. When it's a, a, a spiritual thing, my spirits will also show me 
do this one, do this ritual, do this ritual. Maybe there was an attack or someone is just doing some bad voodoo against you, you know. So your spirit will show you uh, um, or tell you what to do so that everything will be, will be okay. Your spirits want you always to be happy. They want you always to be willing and, uh, and to be ready to learn each and every day. They provide for you so that you will have the love and the strength to stand and do your part of the work, what you came here to do. But when you are um, like some people who just come to spirituality because of what they can gain, yeah, because they have heard that water gives riches. They have heard that water gives children. They have heard that um, water do this, or maybe the ancestors do this and that, you know. So they will just come in there thinking that the spirits are stupid. They are not stupid. They know everything. But sometimes they just give us the chance for, the, uh, uh, for some bad things that we are doing for us to change. And when you just came into, into spirituality, just because of what you can gain, Wealth, prosperity, money, whatever, name it. They will take it back. It will not be for you forever. It is not yours forever. That's why there are some people that will be in spirituality. You see, everything will be going on good. Everything will be going on good. From the moment, maybe they just, uh, uh, um, they just switch to another re religion. They will, they will lose everything. There are some people, they will be like, oh, I, I don't care. You know, I don't care what I lose, but I just want to be in, the, in this different religion. That is there. That is also there. Because it is from them. It is from your spirit. It is from your ancestors. It is from the, the marine spirit. And they gave you all those blessings for a purpose. They blessed you so that you will know and you will understand what they can do. That you don't have to go around begging. You don't have to go around crying. They are always with you and they will provide for you. From the moment that you start, you start to under, uh, um, 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 you, you, you start to disrespect them. Yeah. Or you bring them low, like whatever. They are also going to show you that without them, you are no one. And that is where people will be talking about, yeah, the marine world is like this and the ancestors are like this. No, even as a child, when you do a mistake, where I come from in Africa, when you do a mistake, you, go, you, you are going to get your ass whipped <laughs> so, that you, so that you learn for the, ne for the next time. And it is like that too in spirituality, you know. Sometimes you'll be doing some funny things or um, you'll be doing some things. When the spirits don't like it, they are going to pull your ear. But not so your ear will, just, will fall down. But just for you to know that this behavior is not, is not good. So you need to stop it. Yeah. Or you have been blessed. From poverty, now you are so wealthy. Your spirits have blessed you. When you look around you, you have a house, you have a car, you have your business doing, everything is okay with your family. Name it. You just say it and things will be done. And now you are lazy. You don't pray anymore. You don't uh, 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 um, pour libation anymore. You don't go to the waters anymore. You don't uh, do anything. When, uh, uh, you don't praise them anymore. When anybody asks, oh, oh, my brother, you are so blessed. It's like, yeah, you know, um, thank Jesus and this and this and this. But what it really is, you are not talking about it. You are, you are hiding it. So a time will come. They need to take everything back to show you, to teach you a lesson. It is like that. It is part of our journey. So you know what to do when all those blessings that you have, when you want to keep it, you know what to do. Don't disrespect your spirits. Keep on honoring them, your ancestors, your water spirits. Keep on giving them their, uh, their, uh, uh, um, their, their offering. Keep on thanking them. Gratitude. Be grateful. Tell them how grateful that you are for the blessings that they have brought in your life. So really, you can lose everything and you can also keep it. All depends on you. So I'll stop here today by saying peace and love is me, your queen, Anaya Sankofa, in your area on I of Ancestors Kingdom. We are still in the motherland and the journey is beautiful.
Axé.